So 10th edition, 40K. It's around the corner. It's on its way. We're going to get more and more. And uh, one of the things that I'm so hopeful for, I, I really, I really am, is I hope they simplify the rules. Uh, really simplify it. Not from the perspective of, well, we don't want to play test. We don't want to balance things out. So keep on injecting new rules and new abilities and new powers and new this with every release of units to the point where it's so bloated. It's just such a mess. I'm hoping they don't just essentially chop that all away with a chainsword, reduce it back down to a rules reset, and, and repeat that cycle. Because that'll only be good for a couple of years, or maybe even less, depending on the release cycle. I hope they use this as a chance to truly simplify and streamline the rules so we can quick play and we can immerse ourselves in the narrative. It's been done. Other wargaming systems have done it with other editions. Other wargaming systems have done that right out of the gate. They can keep the, the, the 40K mechanics that we're all used to, tighten it up, make it quick play. Now, if they do that, so what does that mean tactically? What I wonder about, and this is, this is a little bit hard. This is a little bit hard for me because I, I, love, I love close combat. I love the tabletop glory. I love assault-based armies. I love short-range armies. The thing that I immediately think about, and I say think because I'm not necessarily worried about it yet because we don't have any confirmations. There's just rumors. There's developers talking about the direction that they want to take 40K. I'm just going off of, of what I'm hearing at this stage of, of the release and thinking to myself, I wonder about this. Of course, also drawing on experience of the game and, and drawing on experience from previous editions of 40K. Although, I mean, Games Workshop does just like to recycle stuff. Previous editions of 40K doesn't mean it's going to reappear. What I'm a little bit worried about is if you streamline the game, then that is uh, uh, that could potentially favor the shooting phase a lot. Now, the shooting phase has always been favored in 40K, but that has me wondering if you really streamline this system, that's going to make close combat, assault, maybe even short-range shooting high-density armies very hard to play, which means we'll see mono builds, which means now the other point that they were delivering on saying every unit is going to have a role on the battlefield. Uh, no, it's not. Not if your rule system favors a certain element of the phase. That's where I'm curious to see how are they going to be able to streamline the game, make it play fast, make it interesting, but still maintain that unique flavor of all the different armies and elements and units in the game. And it is not. It is not necessarily an easy job.